What's the difference between a raven and a crow? That depends upon where you live. Around the world, there are about 50 species of closely related crows and ravens, with no absolute difference in the way the words raven and crow are applied. Ravens are usually larger with a deeper voice, but not always. This video will tell you how to identify common raven and American crow. These all black birds may appear quite similar at first, but once you know what to look for, and after a little practice, you won't have any trouble separating them. Common raven is the largest passerine or songbird in the world. That's based on their voice box structure and perching feet, not the quality of their croaking calls. How large are they? Let's compare size. Ravens are 21 to 28 inches long, bill tip to tail tip. They weigh 1.5 to 5 pounds. They have a wingspan of 46 to 60 inches. The bill is 2.2 to 3.3 inches in length. In comparison, crows are 16 to 21 inches long. They weigh 0.7 to 1.4 pounds. They have a wingspan of 33 to 39 inches. The bill is 1.2 to 2.2 inches. As you can see, there is a lot of variability in the measurements among each species. The smallest ravens are in coastal Southern California. The smallest crows are on the Pacific Northwest beaches. But even the smallest ravens are larger than the largest crows. Common ravens can weigh three times as much as a crow and have a wingspan half again as wide. They are significantly larger and bulkier. The bill of common raven is long, thick, and prominently curved toward the tip. The bill is about as long as the head. The nostrils are feathered with prominent bristles. The bill of American crow is smaller, slimmer, and straighter, and comes to a gentle point. The nasal bristles are shorter and not as pronounced. The neck feathers of raven called hackles, are long and pointed. They give the neck a shaggy appearance. The raven can fluff these out to exaggerate this rough look. Crows, on the other hand, have sleek neck feathers that merge smoothly into the breast feathers. The bill and throat feathers separate ravens and crows at close range. But what about at a distance, in flight? The tail of common raven is long and wedged or diamond-shaped. That is, as it leaves the body, it widens in the middle and then narrows back to a dull point. The tail of American crow is straight and square-tipped. When fanned open, it is widest at the tip. Ravens have long, thin, somewhat pointed wings. The primaries form long, slotted fingers that point slightly back. Crows have shorter, broad wings. The primary fingers are shorter and blunt and point straight out. Ravens flap with somewhat flexible wings, straight up and down. There's not much difference between the downstroke and the upstroke. They remind me of the flapping style of a red-tailed hawk. Ravens also soar quite a bit, pausing their flapping while commuting from place to place. Crows row through the air on quick, snappy wing strokes. The upstroke is faster and they bring their wrist in closer to their body. The tips of the wings make obvious circles in flight. Once you learn this, you can immediately separate flying ravens and crows at great distances. Crows may set their wings and glide down to land, but they don't soar within their commuting flight. Ravens have a deep, rough croak, and crows give a higher, faster, smoother caw. There's lots of variation, especially with noisy young birds just out of the nest. But here are typical sounds. Listen. Behavior is also a good clue to identification. Common ravens are often seen as singles or pairs, sometimes family groups of up to five birds in early summer. More birds may gather at food sources, but they aren't really flocking together. American crows are very social. You may often encounter large groups together, sometimes in the hundreds at roost sites. They band together to harass owls and hawks and chase away ravens flying through. Ravens and crows are both very intelligent. The social crow, though, 
might graciously be called mischievous. I know they've ruined my garden, stealing roll labels and pulling up sprouts. Some Native American tribes called them tricksters. The common raven is found in the northern hemisphere around the world. They are permanent residents from the extreme far north throughout Alaska and Canada, the west and Mexico, and the northeast U.S. The American crow, however, summers in Canada, but leaves during the harsh winters there. Elsewhere, they are permanent residents in most of the lower 48 states of the United States, absent from the desert southwest. In most of their range, ravens are birds of wilderness, mountains, and deserts. They are unusual in residential areas, with two exceptions. Ravens in the desert southwest are common in small towns. In Southern California, the smaller subspecies of ravens there are almost as common in downtown San Diego as the crows. Now you have enough information to separate crows from ravens. Which ones are in your area?